wanted to throw a few more quick tips at you for using effects in Premiere Pro. Check this out. The first thing to know is over on Edit, Preferences, Timeline. If you look at this, you can see the video transition, what's the duration, and you can set it to however many frames or seconds. I use six because, well, I'll show you in a minute, and the same with audio transitions. Still images, like if you're bringing in a screen capture or something, you can set this to seconds or frames or whatever you wanna do. And there's a bunch of stuff in there. Does that make sense? I'll show you why this is applicable. I use a lot of different effects for different things. For instance, let's say I'm going from a cut shot where here and I cut something out and it just kinda, it doesn't quite work. What I want to do is I want to do a bit of a zoom. Let's say I set this to 110. Let's check this out. It sort of works, it's a little bit off. The way I handle that is I use a cross dissolve. Now you can type in up here, cross dissolve, blah, blah, blah. You can also go into your video transitions, dissolve, cross dissolve. You'll notice this little blue thing sitting right there around the cross dissolve. That's the default when you press a keyboard command and I'll show you that in a minute. You can set anything. I could make dip to white. There we go. Dip to white. There's cross dissolve back set. It's blue. You right click and you say, I want to select that as my default transition. Well, what does that mean? That means when I'm selecting down here in the timeline, this and this, and I press control D, boink, to see that, let's zoom up with the plus key. Doot, doot, doot. It sticks the cross dissolve in between those. Let's undo that and do that again. This, this, I'm gonna press Control D and use this default here. Boink, and it sticks the cross dissolve in. Let's take that off and let me set the dip to white as the selected transition. This, this, Control D. Hey, look at that, it did a dip to white. Now I did a six frame transition because that works for me. All right, let's go back, cross dissolve, set as the transition, control D. Now, if you notice, I go from here and I zoom up here. And the only reason I add that cross dissolve in, which I'll delete later, is I wanna see here when I zoom up, look at how that's off. So what I'll do is I'll select this one, I'll come over here to the effects control for this, and I just line up my eh, bridge of my nose, my eyeballs, to right about there so the zoom isn't so weird and offset. Let's check this out. Now let's look at the zoom. Much better. Now there are certain effects that I use a lot in this thing. I will use cross dissolve. I will use dip to white, like when I'm flashing something between scenes, like if I go from me to something else and it's just not a good proper cut, I may just do a um, dip to white. There's a couple of these that I use a lot. Well, the real key here is You'll notice here, my effects. If I right click in this effects area and I say, I want to create a custom bin, we'll create another one and call it Kev's effects. So instead of going through and typing in dip to black, or I use Gaussian blur a lot, or having to go through these videos and let's see, what do we got in here? Um, video effects, and then we got to find blur and sharpen all that, blah, 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 blah. Here's what I can do. Find Gaussian blur. There's the Gaussian blur one. Let's dump it in there. Let's find my dip to black, dump it in Kev effects, my dip to white, dump it in Kev effects. And as you saw here, that cross dissolve, Let's also put that in there. I use these all the freaking time, cross dissolve. Cool, let's undo that. Now here's what happens is now when I'm sitting here, if I wanna do a dip to white, I just go to Kev's effects and there they all are. I use these all the time. If I wanna add a cross dissolve, bam. If I wanna add a dip to black, bam. If I wanna add a dip to white, bam. If I wanna add a Gaussian blur to this for some reason and make myself look all blurry, dirty, and stuff like that. Whoa, I can do it. I can also, as I said before in these effects, if I wanna come in here, I could say dip to white. I can still, I can delete these out of here. Realize it's deleting uh, out of these folders, not deleting the effect itself. Right here, I can set it as the default transition. So if I'm really doing a lot of dip to whites, I'll set it as the default, and I can go in here, control D that, bam, I get my dip to white wherever I want, 
or I could set it to cross dissolve, set that as the default, come in down here, control D, bam, let's undo that. The other thing I use a lot, and let's just take some of these. Some of these audio clips sometimes are not all that great. They have a little poof, poof, poof between them. Let's do an audio transition and let's do a, crop, a constant power. Let's put that constant power between this one and that one. Basically what that does is it smoothly ends and comes back into this one. It's really handy. And the same with these, I'm gonna grab a constant power, put it into my effects. So I'm also doing audio stuff. And I can also set this as the default transition. Well, I have my cross dissolve as the default and my constant power is the default. If you select this and this and pick control D, you're gonna get that cross dissolve. So do that. If you got these two select and you press control shift D, you get the default audio transition. Let's undo that. Not that I would do this. I'd be a little more particular with my editing, but I could certainly make sure all my transitions on all my audio did select them all. Let's zoom up on that so you can see what's happening. And I press control shift D, bam. Every one of those has been given that little transition. And I know it's gonna be smooth from one to the other. Just create your own little bin with your own special effects that you use over and over and over. Then you can flip through them, create those as the default by right clicking and use control D for the video transitions or effects or control shift D to be able to add audio transitions from one another. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. See you next time.